if the operation circle dot, I'm not exactly sure what to call it, so I'll call it circle dot. If the operation circle dot is defined by x circle dot y equals the square root of x y for all positive x and y, then they want us to evaluate this expression. Well, first of all, we need to evaluate this part first because order of operation still holds and parentheses take priority. So 5 circle dot 45 equals the square root of 5 times 45. Now, naively, you might think that the best possible thing you could do at this point, since you have a 5 times 45, is multiply 5 times 45 and get some big honking number. That would be one of the worst things you could do here. You never want to multiply and get ugly three and four digit numbers that you don't know what to do with. Instead, what you want to do, believe it or not, is factor. And I'm going to factor that 45 into 5 times 9. And the reason I'm going to do that is because then I can split things up. You can always split up a radical by multiplication. And separately, well, the 5 times 5, or 25, I can take a square root of that. That's 5. The 9 I can take a square root of, that's 3. So this is just 3 times 5, which is 15. So that whole operation, 5 circle dot 45 equals 15. So now it means that what we have here is 15 circle dot 60. And of course, this is going to equal 15 square root of 15 times 60. Again, the worst thing in the world you could do would be actually to calculate the product of 15 times 60. There's absolutely no reason to do that. Instead, what I'm going to do is factor that 60. So since we have a 15 already, I'm going to factor out another 15. 60, of course, is 15 times 4. And now I'm going to split it up again, just the way I did last time. Square root of 15 times 15, I don't even know, need to know what that is, times the square root of 4. The square root of 15 times 15, whatever that number is, would just be 15. The square root of 4 is 2, and 15 times 2 is 30. This is answer choice A.